Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to create backup of EC2 instance with Lambda function and automate it to take daily backup. In this video, we will use four AWS services. They are AWS Lambda, AWS CloudWatch, AWS IAM, and AWS EC2. So let's get started. So first of all, we will have one instance for which we want to take AMI or backup on a daily basis. So as you can see on my screen, I have one demo instance created for which I want to take a backup. Let's go to the Lambda console now. As you can see, currently I am in the Ohio region. Now let's get started and create one Lambda function. We will author it from the scratch. In the basic information, you need to put your function name. I'm going to put it as AMI creation. Runtime will be Node.js 12.x. You can use Node.js 10 or 12. For this script, both version will work. In the permission tab, for now, let's click on create a new role from AWS policy templates and we will add required permission in that role. We will name this role as AMI creation role. And policy template we will put as a blank. Let's click on create function. Your function is created and now we will add our code in this function. I have already created a script for the backup functionality. You can find it in the link mentioned in the description. Here is the script. I am going to copy it and paste it here. Here you need to change three values. The first value is instance ID. So let's go to the EC2 instance and find instance ID. Let's copy it and paste it over here. Now we need to put a server name. This can be anything of your choice. Let's choose a region. As we have choose Ohio region, we are going to put US is to here. Now what this script will do? This script can create an AMI and as mentioned here, it can delete AMI that is older than 30 days and is created with proper naming convention. So when you automate this Lambda function, you will set up it to run daily and it will delete your old AMIs that are 30 days old. For now, I am going to put it for 5 days. Let's save this code. Let's scroll down. Here you can see basic settings. We are going to change these settings. Let's click on add it. Here 120 MB memory is enough. Timeout we are going to increase for one minute. As mentioned earlier, we are going to change our execution role. So existing role is this. We are going to change this role. So let's go to that IAM console. We are going to attach policy. Here. 
please search for EC2 full access. Click on Amazon EC2 full access and click on attach policy. This way, our this Lambda function has full access to EC2 console. So it can make changes into EC2 server and can create AMI for us. As our role is attached, let's go back to the Lambda function and click on save. Our Lambda function is now up to date and let's test it. But first of all, let's go to the EC2 instance panel and check that if there is any AMI right now or not. Let's click on AMIs. As you can see, there is no AMI that is owned by us right now. Let's go to the Lambda console and let's test this. We can configure one test event. For this JSON format, we are going to keep it blank as we do not need to pass anything to this function. Let's create this event. Now AMI creation is selected. Let's test it. As you can see, it shows succeeded and we go on to the details of the logs. You can see that image ID has been printed here. So it must have started. Let's go to the EC2 console and check the same. Let's refresh it. As you can see, AMI creation has started. So we have configured our Lambda function correctly. Now, the next step in this video is to automatically configure this. So you do not need to run this Lambda function daily and AWS can take care of that. For this, we are going to use AWS CloudWatch rules. So let's go to AWS CloudWatch console. As you can see, I am already on the rules panel that you can see on the left hand side. Let's click on create rule. We are going to schedule our AMI creation. So for schedule, we are going to give crone expression. I have already configured one crone expression, which I'll explain here. This crone expression says that it will run every day at 12.30 GMT or UTC time. You can set it up as per your preference. Now let's set target. Our target is Lambda function and function name is AMI creation. In the configure version, we are going to use default version. And in configure input, we are going to use the matched event. So let's proceed and configure other details. We are going to name it AMI creation role. Let's create this. As you can see, status is in green symbol, so it is enabled right now. And it will create backup at 12.30 GMT timing. Let's go to EC2 console and see if that AMI is created. It is in the available state, as you can see. Now let's deregister this AMI and create it again using CloudWatch rules. So I'll click on Actions and Deregister. Again, we don't have any AMIs here. Now let's go to the CloudWatch. As per current, current timings, it is 624 in UTC. So let's change the timings and save it for 626. Let's configure details and update rule. Let's wait for two minutes 
and check if this can create AMI for us. It is 6.26 in the UTC timing. Let's see if AMI creation has started. Let's refresh this console. As you can see, it has started creating AMI. We haven't configured it from the Lambda, but we have invoked this using CloudWatch rules. So it is completely automated and it can create backup for you every day. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.